So we read these hadith with the cross to Isa alayhi salam and how he did not die on the cross, how he did not uh, get crucified. We understand that it was somebody else. It was one of his companions. Okay? Jesus was raised up to the heavens. Right? And that's where he's at. And this is the truth as to the matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed someone else to take the place of Jesus for he chose to save him and test the people as to the truth of his message and his mission. Anyone who disbelieves this fact is a disbeliever and a denier of the Quran as well as Jesus himself. Again, we must remember that the Quran was sent as a mercy for mankind to save us from the lies that have been concocted by men as well as the deceptions that have been played on us by shaitan. Allah states in chapter 4 verse 159, And there is none amongst the Jews and the Christians but must believe in him before his death. In this verse, Allah spoke Allah again sheds light on the matter. Allah states that before his death, meaning Jesus, right? Before his death, that before he dies, he will come back and clarify the whole matter. And all will submit to the reality of that matter with no other option or opinion, period. Again, Abu Huraira, read Allah stated in the Quran, I mean in the Hadith, in the Hadith, by Allah. In whose hands my soul is, the son of Mary, Isa, will surely descend among you as a just ruler. He will break the cross, he will kill the pig, and abolish the jizya. So yes, we believe that he is coming back. Yes, we believe he will be a ruler. But he will break all the crosses, he will kill the pigs, and Islam will be the only religion accepted by him. Again, Allah states in chapter 3, verse 159. Chapter 3, verse 159. Allah states, I want to be lahi with the regime, and he, Jesus, will be a witness against them as to the truth of this message, right? That he is not God, he is not the Son of God, or three in one. So Jesus himself will bear witness against these people when he comes back. He's going to tell them, man, Allah is going to ask Jesus, did, I, did you tell the people to worship you? Did you tell them to worship, God, to worship your mother? He would say, glory be to you. You know, you know everything. Surely I didn't say that. I said, worship your Lord and my Lord, the one God, your God. Okay, so this is the reality of the matter of Jesus, alayhi salam. There's many other hadiths, but I try to make it as uh, simple as possible. Okay, any questions?